Right, we are going to do something a bit different today. Uh, we're leaving uh, the Romeo and Juliet text and play behind for today's lesson. And we are looking at showing our understanding of the play through a bit of creative writing. OK, so you're going to be writing a diary entry for one of the characters that we've come across in uh, Act 1. So the main ones that we've come across that I think would be the most interesting to write about would be Tybalt, uh, the fiery, angry, aggressive uh, Capulet cousin, Lady Capulet, the mother who has a very distant and formal relationship with her daughter, Romeo was in love with Rosaline and suddenly finds himself head over heels uh, in love with Juliet. Juliet a young and um, protected girl who suddenly um, grows up as she falls in love with this stranger. Lord Capulet, used to being obeyed, expect his daughter to obey him, but at the same time seems willing to consider her choice in who she should marry. And Prince Aeschylus, uh, the man in charge of Verona, who so far hasn't done a very good job at all of stopping the fighting. So you need to be picking one of these um, as your uh, character that you're going to stand in their shoes and understand what life is like for them. Uh, right, so what does a good diary entry look like? Uh, we haven't done diaries for a while. I think the last time you wrote a diary was when you were studying Of Mice and Men, right at the beginning of year nine. So rather than just launch you headlong into that, I've given you two examples here. They're both good examples, but the pink one on the right is, as the title suggests, a better example than the one on the left. So let's have a quick read through these. So a good example, for the third time in as many weeks, I've had to stop a fight between the Capulets and the Montagues. I am fed up of their fighting. Years and years this has been going on for. I cannot remember a time when we had complete peace in Verona. My blood boils when I think of all the damage they have done, all the lives which have been lost. Well, no more. In the streets today, I promised that any further fighting would be punishable by death. Fury got the better of me as I announced this judgment, and now I must hope that it works, for I do not want to have to carry that punishment out. Apart from their fighting, these are good citizens, and punishing them with death would be a great weight upon my mind. But what am I to do? I must take action to stop this fighting, and I must take action now. OK, so that, that's good. Um, that would be um, in terms of uh, a piece of creative writing that would be getting us uh, a really strong level four into level five, uh, a range of sentence structures, uh, some different punctuation, uh, good sentence openers, uh, detail, some uh, effective language choices and a range of ideas. OK, but this next example is much better. For the third time in as many weeks, I had to stop violent fighting on the otherwise quiet streets of my beloved Verona. The older citizens are furious at my inability to control these two families. Decades of fighting are behind us and still it continues with great ferocity. No words, no threats, no counselling will bring these two families together. This feud of theirs this ancient grudge is based on nothing. They fight over airy words which have no meaning. So many deaths have occurred. It feels like fountains, rivers of blood fill our streets. Well, enough is enough. Following today's fight, I announced a new level of punishment and I desperately hope they do not test me on this. Now I have spoken. Now I have told everyone in Verona that further fighting will be paid for with lives. Lives of servants, family members, young and old, will be forfeit if the violence continues. A threat I do not wish to carry out. So 
uh, just quickly, the reason that would get a better mark, the language choices in that are much, much higher, as is the use of punctuation. There is nothing wrong with the punctuation in the first example. In the second example, I use the punctuation to really control my reader's journey, to slow them down and to speed them up. And there is a greater range of punctuation used. In addition to that, it would also score more highly because there is more evidence of me using and manipulating sentence length, again, to control my reader's experience, as well as that single sentence paragraph at the end. OK, so that is the standard that we are looking for. Uh, right then, it's over to you uh, to uh, let your creativity and your imagination flow. I would like you to write for about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, that's plenty of time to show all the skills that Mr. Stevenson and I are looking for. Um, and um, plenty of time for you to create a developed piece of work. Please check for the accuracy of your work before handing it in to us. Please check your punctuation, read that work aloud, listen for those pauses where they need to go and make decisions about how long those pauses need to be. In which case, does it need a comma or a dash or a semicolon, etc. Check spelling. If you're not sure of a word, start typing it uh, into Google and the spelling comes up. I know because I don't know how to spell every single word I use um, and that's how I check my spelling. Um, and then check that what you've written makes sense and you're not handing in a load of gobbledygook. OK, Mr. Stevenson and I are not great fans of gobbledygook. And really reading creative work from sets two and three in year 10, nobody should be writing gobbledygook. It should all make perfect sense. OK, I'm really looking forward to reading those. This is the end of week five's lessons. A uh, bit of a treat for you next week. Um, I'm not narrating uh, the first two lessons. Well, at least the first two lessons, uh, Mr. Stevenson's. Uh, taken over the start of Act 2. Um, uh, it will be nice for you to not have to listen to my voice uh, every day and have somebody different chatting away to you. OK, so well done. And of course, as we head into next week, that is week six. Um, and then we all get a deserved break once you finish that work. Well done, everybody. Have a good weekend. <laughs>